Hi guys, um, this is Selena Insanity, and yes, I know that was a very delayed reaction, but I didn't know if I was recording. Um, this was a requested look, um, from a friend of mine from my yearbook, you know who you are. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce the girl's name, who the look is supposed to be inspired by, and, well, I mean, I know the name, but I don't want to try and pronounce it and then, like, get jumped on for not pronouncing it correctly. Um, so I'll show you a picture instead. This is her. She's a um, Japanese singer, and she's really beautiful, if that's not a creeper type of thing to say. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it, because I had a lot of fun filming it. So um, first off, we're going to take a piece of tape, and using the, the angle of our nose, we're going to drag it up. Obviously, because that's where I put it. <laughs> okay, um, oh yeah, bear in mind, this is my first live tutorial. Well, that I haven't overrided the audio with a techno song, so, um, no, first, um, this is also, by the way, my BH Cosmetic 120 Palette Edition 1. And we're gonna use this, um, steely gray, the dark one. It, it's, um, it's kind of purpley, I guess. I don't really know how to describe the color. Um, my words aren't working right today, I guess. So, we're just taking it on a big fluffy brush. Well, not fluffy, big flat uh, shadow brush. And just packing that in all over our lid. Now, if you don't want this dramatic, like, if you're, like, one of those people who don't really wear, like, a lot of makeup or something, and you don't like the cat eye effect that we're going for, you can round it off and keep it directly on your lid. You don't have to go past your um, your crease with it. You can just keep it very simple and very to the point. Sorry, trying to get some more light over here. That makes sense. So just like that. Next we're taking, it's um, a medium flat brush in this matte black, one in the top corner. And starting at the tape we're going to drag it in over and blend it with that uh, purpley silvery gray color. Now what we're doing is we're going to drag it into our crease and down toward our inner tear duct. Just like that. Now this is a Revlon brush. Um, I don't really, those are unknown named brushes, but this is a Revlon brush. It's a nice fluffy brush. I got it from Walmart. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on brushes, there you go. Now we're just going to blend out the top of that. Blend, 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 blend. It's one of those looks where there's a lot of blending. But it's very simple, so it works out both ways. And I know I'm like really low down, but my I'm using a compact mirror, and it's really small, it's right there, leaning up against my screen, so that would be why. Next thing we're going to do is we're taking um, Wario Paris Liner Intense Liner. It, I like this one because it doesn't have a felt tip. It's, um, it, it has a, the tip is made out of hair, so I like it a lot. And we're going to keep as close to our lash line as possible because we're going to build up on this just put myself in my eye. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I do things like that a lot, so. And we're going to take our tape off. I can grab it. Crap. I 
can't even grab my tape. There is something wrong with that picture. Ow. I see our edge, how it's really, really harsh, and then not so harsh on this side. We're just going to take our blending brush and blend that line out just a bit. It may take a second because of the tape adhesive. There will still be traces of it on your skin. Just like that. Now we're going to go back in with our liquid liner because we're going to go for a bit of a cat eye type thing with a wing. You know what I'm talking about? Like Sorry, I had to get the sides even. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our liquid liner and drag it along the lash line just along the lash line not on your water line and we're gonna go about halfway so if you don't really know where halfway is look in the mirror and look right where your pupil is and right in towards the center of your pupil that's where you're going okay we're taking um yes all my like liners and Mascaras right now, they're from L'Oreal, so this is L'Oreal Infallible's Black Eyeliner in Dior. Dior, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm hoping, so I don't sound like an idiot, because I kind of already do. And we're just going to gently pull down, not very hard, because we don't want premature wrinkles, and line our waterline lightly with that. Try and get it as light as possible on your inner corner because that's supposed to be very dark there. Next I'm taking this very small eyeshadow brush and we're going to go into this white right here. It's the second one down. It's also my favorite one. As you can see it's going all the way down to the metal. And we're going to start off replacing that on under our, or on our brow bone as our highlight. There goes my phone. Someone's texting me. <laughs> it's like they know that I'm in the middle of a makeup tutorial, so they have to text me. And we're going to drag that down around our tear duct on our inner corner. And drag it right there, like on the inner third of your eye. Right there on your lash line. Peace and shimmery. Next is, um, I don't really know the color because I can't really read that small of letters, but, um, the color number is 60, 675, 675 from L'Oreal as the mascara. Yeah, music is um by the radio. Okay. The final step of this look is um to powder. You can foundation and conceal whatever, um, but I'm just using powder. Um, this is by Jane. It's a uh, true to you loose powder. It's my color is a. Uh, Number two, fair. I'm just gonna bang it around a little bit so it gets in the lid. Tap it down a bit because there's way too much. Ah. <laughs> Probably look like an idiot. Just swirl a big powder brush around in there. And then over your face.
Don't forget to get your your neck right here, just so that it blends completely. So, uh, yeah, that's the look. Um, as you notice, I didn't put anything on my lips because uh, she has a very nude lip, um, very natural lip. So, <laughs> you can uh, go ahead and use um, a little bit of lip gloss, but for some reason, all my lip glosses have disappeared. So I don't know. I don't know if my animals are getting into it or I'm just misplacing them. Probably I'm just misplacing them. Um, Alright guys, this is again the look. And um, you can add me on MySpace or Twitter or Facebook or something. Um, I'm under Selena Insanity no matter what site it is. Um, even Vampire Freaks. <laughs> so, uh, alright guys, comment. Uh, they don't do rate anymore, do they? So the like or dislike um, and subscribe. I already had one girl tell me today on my yearbook that I am a no-talent loser who should probably delete her uh, um, YouTube channel. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Thank you. So um, if it's a hate comment, it's a hate comment. If it's not, it's not. Alright, guys. Mwah. Lovers, people, guys. Bye.